Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how I added an air source heat pump to my DIY hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the blog and the subsequent YouTube channel that you're watching now all started because four and a half years ago, I built my own DIY hot tub. So when I built it, I didn't know anything about it. And that was the whole reason that I founded this channel and indeed the blog. It's four and a half years on, times have changed, electricity prices are soaring. So I needed to do something to reduce the running costs of my hot tub. So when I came to fit an air source heat pump to a friend's hot tub that you've probably seen the video, if not, I'll pop a link to that in the comments below. The numbers that he was telling me were just astounding. He had a two and a half X heat up speed and he reckoned he was running at 50% cheaper than when he was running on his electric heater alone. So those numbers were numbers that I just couldn't ignore. So I really wanted to, to add an air source heat pump to my own hot tub. However, my design is not designed for a dual pump system. Now with an air source heat pump, having a dual speed pump running through the air source on high speed is not a good idea. There's gonna to be too much pressure and it's gonna actually cause problems. So I needed a way of creating a system that could be a dual pump system into my hot tub. The other challenge that I had was the, the actual returns into the hot tub. So as you would expect, the hot water comes in through the jets. However, if I create a dual pump system and I've got a three horsepower jet pump working on one side, what's gonna happen to the smaller circulation pump on the other? The pressure's gonna build up, it's gonna work against that smaller pump and eventually that pump's going to burn out so that wasn't uh, really an option so i had to come up with a we'll call it a weird and wonderful way of of adding all of this to my uh, existing hot tub i didn't want to drill any holes in it i've got a beautiful watertight structure coring holes into my hot tub simply isn't an option and i wasn't going to do it no way so I needed to really have a good think of, of how I was going to do it. And the solution that I've come up with is it's pretty out of the ordinary, but it works and it's fantastic. So how did I do it? The first thing that I was going to do was change the location for the new air source heat pump, the new pump and I'm actually gonna put the filter on this setup as well. So what I'm doing is instead of using my existing control room for these components, and obviously with an air source, it wasn't gonna be in that location anyway. It needs to have airflow around it. You can't cover it. You can't butt it up to a wall. It's got to have airflow all the way around. So I needed to have a new location, and on that location, I was gonna have an above ground swimming pool pump. So in doing that, I could have my circulation pump outside of my control room because it wouldn't fit, but it also gave me a additional space where I was gonna put the filter. So accessing the filter to change, it was always a bit of an issue with my tub. So in, in adding an air source, I'm also kind of trying to improve things as well. What about the inward flow? So on my existing tub, I've got two lower drains, connected to a skimmer that go into that dual speed pump. What I was gonna do, it's a bit unconventional, and if I was designing this as a, as a new build, I certainly wouldn't do it this way, but what I've done is I've split one of those lower drains and taken that as a feed over to the new self-priming above ground swimming pool pump. So now I've got a means of getting the water into the pump. So how am I gonna get the water through the filter, through the air source and then back into the tub because I'm not coring any new holes. Scratched my head for quite a while on this one and I've come up with a new return, as in water return, into the hot tub via the back of the skimmer. So on the back of the skimmers that I use in my builds, which are Certikin HD 100s, they have an overflow knockout and they also have a, a, a water filling knockout. And these are uh, half an inch or three eighths of an inch in, in size. 
So I decided that I could use those, connect to three eighths of an inch flexible pipe to those one and a half inch rigid pipes coming from the air source heat pump. And I've now got a complete separate system. So no drilling of any holes, no issues with back pressure. I've got a new pump that's got its own dedicated drain. It's only got one, which as I said, isn't conventional. You would normally have two inward suction drains to your pump, but I'm gonna you know, chance it and get away with one. Then I've got those new water returns coming through the back of the skimmer. And what's happening is the existing dual speed pump will then pull that hot water and then circulate it around the tub. So it won't be localized heating. That hot water will be delivered directly into the skimmer. It will be sucked through the existing pump and then delivered through the jets into the hot tub. So it's gonna be a pretty cool system. Now, next challenge. How do I control all of this? Because I don't really want to connect the pump to the spa pack. The reason I don't want to do this is I've already got a circulation pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a set of relays that will control the new pump off the existing pump. So I'm not adding any load onto the pump. All I'm doing is I'm switching a relay and allowing it to turn on the new above ground circulation pump. So the relays that you can see behind me here, I've got two of them because I've got a dual speed pump and I want the, the new pump to work on both low and high speed when my existing pump is turning on. Am I losing you with all these different um, pumps and, and things? Uh, hopefully not. It's, it sounds a lot more complicated than, than it actually is. So when the existing dual speed pump is either running on low or high, it will turn on the new pump automatically. That's basically what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm setting out to do with this relay system. I'm going to drop a switch in there as well so I can actually turn it off. In terms of controlling the heat, the air source heat pump has a, its own thermostat so I can set the temperature on the air source heat pump. I know that the spa pack will also be reading the temperature so it will turn on the pumps when it wants some heat. When it turns on the pumps, the relays will turn on, they'll turn on the new above ground circulation pump, water will go through the air source heat pump, the air source heat pump will turn on because there's flow going through it and the hot tub will heat up. So the system is, it's very much a DIYers uh, system, but what would you expect on this channel? Also, it's a good moment to say, please give me a thumbs up, hit me up in the comments, like, subscribe, all of those good things. It uh, keeps me motivated to keep the channel going. So we've had a look at all the theory. Let's have a look at the end result. And it's fantastic. It works exactly as I set out to do. What's the benefits? Well, the only benefit that I can really talk to you about at this stage is my heat up speed has got eight times faster. It's absolutely amazing. So my heat up speed uh, on the three kilowatt electric heater was about half a degree Celsius an hour. So if you can imagine, I'd have to turn that on on a Thursday night, let it run overnight to actually heat up. With the new air source heat pump, now this is quite a big air source heat pump. I put a 21 kilowatt air source heat pump on my hot tub because I wanted to really benefit from the speed. The new air source heat pump is generating four degrees Celsius an hour, which for me is a huge, huge difference. And it's gonna totally change how we can actually use the tub as a, uh, as a family. What about the running costs? I don't know any of those yet. I am gonna do some investigating. I'm gonna do some tests and I will definitely record a new video for the channel that explains just how much this has actually saved me. And it is gonna save me money for sure because if you think I was running a three kilowatt heater pretty much flat out all weekend, um, I don't need to do that now because of the speed that the air source will actually heat my, uh, heat my hot tub. So super, super excited. I hope you've found this video useful. You can see the end result here. I'm really pleased with it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the view. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments. And if I can help you in any way, please do get in touch. Hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.